Hi, I'm Samantha Matern, the Interpretation Manager here at Stonefield Historic Site in beautiful Cassville, Wisconsin, right on the Mississippi River. Today I'm standing in front of the State Agricultural Museum, part of Stonefield Historic Site. This building behind me is built on the foundations of a sheep barn owned by Nelson Dewey, Wisconsin's first governor. This whole site is built on farmland that was owned by Nelson Dewey. When he was living in Wisconsin, wheat was the cash crop of this state. But how did Wisconsin go from the king of wheat to America's dairy land? And what was life like for the farmers who made that switch? Come inside with me and we'll find out. European immigrants found Wisconsin's soil conditions ideal for growing wheat, so they grew it as a cash crop, producing more than they could possibly eat in order to sell it. Unfortunately, they grew so much wheat that the wheat began to deplete the soil of valuable nutrients, attract pests like the chinch bug, and poor farming practices also led to intense soil erosion, ripping away entire hillsides. William Dempster Horn saw the dangers of monoculture in Wisconsin and advocated for bringing in livestock, specifically dairy cows, to improve the state's agriculture and the soil quality. Due in large part to Horn's efforts, by 1920, Wisconsin had truly become America's dairy land. Dairy was the leading industry in Wisconsin by that point, and we'd become the nation's largest dairy producer. With new technologies like the centrifugal cream separator of the 1870s and the Babcock test designed in 1890, the dairy industry roared into the 20th century. The generation of Wisconsin farmers that made the switch to dairying was also experiencing a revolution in the technology of their everyday lives. Inside Stonefield's 1901 progressive farmhouse, we can see the shift in life from the 19th century to the 20th century in a Wisconsin farming community. Wisconsin farmers began to enjoy a more middle-class lifestyle, moving their meals out of the kitchen and into a dedicated dining room, and enjoying the benefits of new technology, like the telephone or entertainment from the gramophone. Switch from wheat to dairy was definitely a good one for Wisconsin farmers. Today, Wisconsin remains one of the leading dairy producers in the U.S. To learn more about Wisconsin's dairy land, please visit us at Stonefield this summer. You can find our schedule on Facebook or on our website, stonefield.wisconsinhistory.org. We hope to see you soon.